Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Hardcore. I always love doing these series because the name, like that's the shortened version of the name. I could make it last like a full minute to say. But we're not gonna, we're just gonna get right into it because I'm excited to be playing this game again. New character was released today as of recording. The Rise of the Necromancer uh, DLC pack it comes with the character comes with character slots and some other some other things that I don't really know like let's be honest it was it's for the new character is the main reason and they bundle in some other stuff to justify the price but that's okay cuz I'm excited oh man I'm gonna have to get used to it and I'm just I'm pumped because I loved the necromancer it's what I played in uh... interesting it's what I played originally in Diablo 2 so it's gonna be fun to see how it's transitioned into this game. We can spend our Paragon points, but that feels like... Wait, we already have Paragon points. I forgot how this system works. It's Like I said, it's been a while. Um, but we are playing hardcore, so what that means for the uninitiated is this is basically a roguelite. Um, I'm probably- I'm gonna skip through the story for the most part, cause like... I, I have like seven Diablo 3 series at this point if you want to see story. I suggest probably watching a different one. I kind of want to switch these. How do we do this again? Oh, I don't know if we can switch the, uh, switch it like that. But yeah, I, I have a bunch of other Diablo 3 series, plenty of hardcore series where I go through the entire story and such. Bone Spear. Yeah, I really want to switch these. And we can. What a customizable game. Yeah, it feels a lot better. I don't know what they were thinking, putting that on uh, left click. But yeah, I love the Necromancer in Diablo 2. I, I love just summoning the armies of minions and such. The golems, which I don't think made it back into the game, but still. Julia, did you survive the fallen star? I don't. I don't think that you should be talking to this creepy, spooky man. In this world, especially, like. Don't I just seem like the, you know, the typical <laughs> evil villain? I don't know. I guess not to Leah. She's very trustworthy. But then again, never mind. I won't spoil things for people who are uninitiated, I guess. So, there's that too. But I love the, uh, oh, I love the animations of this already. It's been, a, yeah, it's been a long time since they've released, like, New, I don't know. I will bring peace to like a new huge content, like a full-on character. It's been since like Reaper of Souls. The whole seasonal system is really nice though, and like it's super commendable that they've been working on this game for so long without any additional DLC until until now. So that's why, like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe some people are, will see like fourteen ninety nine. I mean, US. For the thing and be like, oh, that's super grubby, greedy. Yeah, but they have also been like chugging out super huge seasonal updates and stuff like that that are not they're like they're not even the uh, something you can gloat about as much as a, a brand new character. And be like, yeah, we added a new character. That's obviously obviously huge new content. Um, it's just. You know, the seasonal stuff, but in reality, they kind of like, for me, they just brought a game from, uh, oh, that's why, this is our main ability. I still prefer it on my right click. That's weird. These seem like they should be reversed. Like, this should be the one that generates the energy, or the, sorry, the essence. Uh, and the other one should be the expending one. That's okay, I'll get used to it. But I, I don't have a problem with them charging the $14.99, make, you know, if, the thing is, if you want to, you know, eventually get new Diablo content, there's, there's gotta be a revenue stream for the game somehow, they can't just plug and plug and plug. Grim Scythe. Wait, was this our, oh, it's a primary, okay, you know what, sure, let's be, uh, let's be a melee, melee men. And then I guess we'll want to go with... Eh, weird. So are we gonna, like, gonna be like a hybrid? Melee... Melee ranged? I feel like you could probably... 
do both. Sorry, Warrior. I don't know, but I, I think I'm gonna switch back and forth. Maybe I'll I'll do a little bit of story, do a little bit of uh, adventure mode. We'll see. We'll see. I've, I've played a lot of the game. I just kind of in the am in the mood for the more structured format for a little bit. And uh, yeah, my last uh, my last hardcore character is actually okay. I mean, spoilers for anyone who <laughs> wants to go back and watch. I'm gonna spoil my own series, I guess. Uh, my last hardcore character is actually still alive. I uh, I just stopped the series because I made it to I made it to max level and then I kind of just was plugging around for for gear and I just I don't know I, I I felt like doing something else and now we got a brand new character that's that's a reason to come back to Diablo if I've ever seen one. Okay, I think I might want to up the difficulty. I'm not I'm on uh. What? Am I normal? I thought I upped it to expert. Ah, uh, we'll do that. We'll do that at some point. I will definitely increase the difficulty because, um... Where's the fun in having hardcore mode if there's never a chance that you might die? That is a beautiful thumbnail right there. Or icon. Corpse explosion. I love it. Yes. I, I too care about that, Leah. I'm very excited to see Corpse Explosion. I think it's probably like one of the more iconic abilities for the Necromancer in Diablo 2. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. Did you know your father? Leah, don't hang out with this man. He's bad news. And he's me. So it's like you can trust me. But yeah, I'm not gonna. I can. I can assure you, I'm not just gonna keep it on like the easiest, easiest mode. I, I thought I did actually up the difficulty already, but I guess I must have uh, accidentally reset it back. Cause um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push the envelope a little bit. I'm not gonna, not gonna stay comfortable. We didn't even corpse explosion. Are these the corpses then? Oh. Wherever he's headed. Adria, come on. That is really cool. I'm liking that. Okay, so let's let's see. Ooh, that does a lot of damage, actually. Boom! <laughs> oh, so these are gonna be kind of like resources. They're Alright, I'm gonna zoom in. For the uh people who are afraid of gore. Don't look. I mean, it's not like it's really that high re resolution gross anyways but uh still that's a uh, quite a quite a look for something that we're gonna <laughs> be seeing literally everywhere but then again if you wanted to feel good class you probably wouldn't be playing the necromancer who is the feel good class uh, of diablo let's go to the mass grave <laughs> while i talk about feel good what is this i think this is just um you know like a swarm the best thing for Corpse Explosion is if we can probably get, like, a chain reaction going. Ah. I'm, I'm super excited above all else, like, with the new characters. I always love seeing um, what kind of runes they eventually can get. Oh my god, Corpse Explosion. I love it. You know what? Oh, we're in combat. Get out of here, little ankle biter. You know what? You're right, game. This move is is a little bit uh, better. At least until we can get some more things that make sense for melee range. I think we probably ought to just... Oh, that's beautiful. That's really satisfying. That's really satisfying. I've probably beaten this game like... Oh my god. So many, so many times now. The whole uh, Diablo story, story um, I'm not talking like the actual in-game story, I'm talking like the, the meta story of how the game has progressed is so, so interesting. Like, I remember playing it day one, and I, and I've talked about this so many times, so if you've watched all my Diablo series, I apologize, but 
yeah, the transformation of the game is really interesting. I actually did not hate it right away like everybody everybody else seemed to. But uh, I will attest that is it's definitely gotten better for sure. Like they've changed a lot of things to smooth it out. Uh, not having to beat the game. I know I know it's like old Diablo style to do it this way, but like not having to beat the game on a really like easy easy difficulty in order to get to the point where it's actually challenging like if i had to play through the entire game at this difficulty right now which i i intend to actually change this next episode uh if i had to play the whole time like this i would probably get pretty annoyed hey skeletal mage that sounds fun but i don't want to get rid of corpse explosion I want Corpse Explosion on right click. No, I'm busy. Yes! How many can we have? Four? Oh, we can have as many as we can probably spawn, is my guess. Alright, let's get him. I'll fill up my essence. There we go. Let's see. Get him, guys! Get him! Okay, that's pretty fun. They're pretty cool looking. I wish they did last longer. You know what? There's probably um, there's probably a rune that makes them makes it so you can like summon less of them, but they're permanent. If so, that'd be really neat. Yes, yes. See, there we go. Hey, treasure goblin! Stop everything. Stop everything. All right, mages. Target this one. So how many hits does it take for us to get enough uh, essence to summon another guy? Because we could even just do like boom, summon, boom, summon, maybe. All right. So I, I'm going to do something real quick. Let's all play a little bit of a game. <laughs> and not Diablo. Let's let's play a little bit of a of a guessing game. Like a uh, how long do you think Retromation will go before he dies? Um you know, like knowing what what I have said recently in the video or knowing what I uh you know, what I, yeah, what I've done in past series. Or if you're brand new, take a wild crack at it. Wh how far do you think I'm going to make it? Where do you think I'm going to die? And if you're feeling extra adventurous, what enemy do you think is going to kill me? Move it. I'm going to take a guess and say... And I'm not going to try to die because that would just end the series. I, I sometimes have trouble with Uncle, Belial if I'm on, like, if I'm at, at an appropriate difficulty level. I, I sometimes have trouble with Belial. But we'll see. Hadrig, hey, let me kill your wife! Did you hear? Old has a you are yep, let's go get her. <laughs> I just know the story so, the quote-unquote story so much. I, uh, I don't know. Also, while you're at it, Let's go for a back-to-back -back comment. Um, what what mode would you personally... Yeah, yeah. Get over it, everybody. What mode would you personally prefer? Uh, story... Going through the story uh, all, you know, like, planned out. Or would you want to see adventure mode? Or do you want to see a combo? Let me know in the comments section below. Forgive me. Well, I got a bunch of bodies lined up for you. No, ah, man, I wasted it. All right. Yeah. Definitely too easy at, as of right now. Let's take a look at our inventory, actually. I feel like I'm speedrunning this right now, but it's not on purpose. Life on hit? Nah. Can we do a wield? We cannot. Thought I'd check. 
Regenerate life. I think I would rather just have an increase to, like, a flat increase to my life. Boop. So we're probably going to be doing a lot more damage now. Open the gate. Open the gate. I really hope that uh, we do get permanent summons at some point. I, uh, well, it's not the most active of gameplay styles. Oh, yeah, they're dying even quicker. Well, it's not the most active of, of gameplay styles. It is, it's really fun to kind of have, like, a companion. I probably wouldn't want to do a full-on summon build. But I'd like to dabble. I'd like to have a few friends. A few, a few gross undead, possibly meaty friends. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, uh, does this cost no essence? It doesn't. Just... Just costs a body. All right. But I think, like, level six is where the character characters typically start to get more interesting. It is worth noting, yes, this character was on the, um, the test realm for a while. So a lot of people know what the character does. I don't know what the character does. I kind of... For the sake of uh, excitement and newness... I, I did keep it completely um, unspoiled. Whoop, whoop. All right. Did that, those guys just came out of the bushes. Yeah. <laughs> they had no chance, though. Normal mode is just... Normal mode is for babies. Oh, it's so satisfying. I, like... If, if I had no other abilities than I do right now, just corpse explosion, I would not even mind. That's just like, it just feels really, really good. Boop. All right. I wonder, I, I should definitely look and find out uh, what the other cool stuff you get is. I think there's like, Achievements? No. I could have sworn there's like, oh, there we go, some cosmetic Mercy's gaze. This, that's not. Oh, necromancer. I what? Half-formed golem pet. Wings of the crypt guardian. Oh, those ones are the ones. You know what? I like the mercy wings better. I've had these on on all my other characters. I. You know what? Fine. I will I will take it because I did say. Ew. Here, we'll just we'll just play all like put all the other blizzard ones on there. There, look it! We're mercy and we're representing Heroes of the Storm. What what Diablo? We're not playing Diablo. These wings are so cool and it makes us look like a lot uh, a lot more rad than we truly are. I was, like, I know that, uh, I don't know, it's not necessarily related to the, uh, series, but I, I was just, just recently, like, a couple days ago, or, like, no, a little bit before they announced the release date of this, even. So, I guess there's a while. Uh, I was watching my old Diablo videos. It's, it's so interesting how, how far I've come <laughs> in just, like, not a lot of years. It's, it's really exciting to have, especially because it's a game, like, I was, I'm was i playing the same game, so it's really easy to compare and contrast. You know what we're going to do? Not this. We're going to do that in the next episode. We're going to keep this one a little bit shorter because I do want to upgrade the difficulty to keep things a little bit more enticing. Look at my nice bear midriff. Oh, I'm beautiful. Just my, my beautiful pet, too. All right, well, but that, yeah, we're going to do it like this, just a little bit shorter, upgrade the difficulty. Maybe we're not going to have too long of episodes anyways. But I do want to say thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for coming out to me. I know that there's a lot of Diablo content out there. If you're new, if you're old, thank you so much for subscribing or potentially potentially now subscribing. Uh, all that kind of stuff, like the comments and the, the likes and whatever, people ask for it because it actually does help, especially in such a freaking crowded space like Diablo. So if you enjoy 
enjoyed the video in any respect, feel free to do some of that stuff. Just like a reminder in case you need it. Thank you so much though for even taking the time to get to this point in the video. I plan on uploading this until I until I die. <laughs> until my character dies. That's that's the plan at least, especially with your support. So let me know. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. I have to zoom out because that guy's ugly. A little golem. Uh, see you next time.